Welcome back. The National Institute of Standard and Technologies described the enterprise architecture at its earlier stages decades ago. At that time, EA was described as being composed of a stack of roles. The modern version of that stack, popularized by the Open Group Architecture Framework, is often called the BAIT model. Business, Applications, Information, and Technology. The Federation of Enterprise Architecture Professional Organization, FIPO, determined that this model should not be determined as a stack or rather as a group of collaborating roles. To make this relevant to the modern requirement, we added a critical role called security, BAIT plus S. Enterprise architect's journey grows out of many functions and roles within the organization. Some enterprise architects emerge from one of the traditional IT roles, such as the developer, but other enters the EA profession from diverse fields like manufacturing, engineering, business, systems, engineering, informatics, and you name it. So becoming an enterprise architect is not an overnight journey. A good metaphor is that of a journey itself, right? Starting with the array of familiar launching points and then you progress forwards. And there are several indicators to look for in yourself and team members or that indicates the individual is on the journey towards enterprise architect. The structured analysis, which means that using structured method to draw up information, organize it, and help reach conclusions. Strong affinity for working with diverse people, multicultural environment, bringing people together as a team, bringing concepts such as different business units or products, business services, so think of it as a bigger picture and then understand how the enterprise is driven to its objectives, which is the organization's DNA. So faced with the complex situation, a good candidate will seek out ways to take care of all the abstractions and ensure that the individual is capable of complex decision making and management. Not only that, but also very well versed with the most modern enterprise technologies. So these are both soft skills and technical skills, right? Coming from whether the development environment or the project management environment. However, the role of enterprise architect is not really a technical one, but very technical people find that their deep technological skills becomes really relevant when they want to go into the enterprise architect field. It is generally accepted across the industry that the actual skills and experience needed to be an effective as an EA, it really is over an extended period of time. Even with degree programs, by the way, and certification courses, it'd be exceptionally rare to find a person who's capable of switching from a non-technology background to a pure management background, right? So, individuals who are not initially technical, a solid path to business architect path may exist from a variety of business roles. So, this course covers both ends, whether you're coming from the technical background or a business background. So, moving from technical roles to architecture role, the ability to succeed in this new role is highly dependent upon your interpersonal skills and often leadership skills. So for technologists, this is a frequent cause for struggle and retraining as those skills are not often really initially taught. So when moving from non-technical roles to architecture roles, the ability to succeed in the new role is highly dependent on the grasp of issues and integration of these issues. Data concepts, data analytics, security, life cycle, Six Sigma, Lean, project management. So it's really a journey itself. So I'm super excited to take you through this learning path and provide you valuable content that you can benefit from and grow your career. So I hope this kind of makes sense. I wanted to talk about the journey of the enterprise architect. The best of both worlds, both coming from the business, applications, information, and then technology, which is the bait model that we talked about. And then, of course, added the security element, such as cybersecurity fundamentals and so forth. So in this course, moving forward, my objective is to bring you at par, bring your knowledge, skills, and abilities at par so you can become an enterprise architect. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, reach out. Feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to assist. And I regularly update my courses. So if there are certain topics that you feel that you need to learn on, just post in the discussion area. Let me know. I'll be 
happy to create those for you. So with this, let's move to the next lesson.